Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we are going to talk about bowel perforation. It is defined as the local damage of integrity of the intestinal wall. There are two types of perforation, the open perforation in which the hole is open and through it digestive material can enter the abdominal cavity and cause a peritonitis. The other type is the closed perforation in which an adjacent organ or other structure seals off the perforated area and so prevents food material to leave the intestinal system. A perforation can occur at any part of the GI tract and can be due to many causes, some of which are traumatic and others are due to other diseases, as peptic ulcer disease, Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, or also the growth of a tumor. Those diseases alter the structure and or blood supply to the intestinal wall. Also patients affected by these diseases often have a several year long history of intestinal inflammation, diarrhea, bloating, constipation and other complaints that weaken the intestinal wall over time. The lifelong chance for a patient with Crohn's disease is about 1-3% to that he or she will develop a bowel perforation. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, as for example aspirin, also promote the thinning and breaking of the intestinal wall integrity. Also ingestion of foreign objects, strong acids or alkaline liquids or other substances or also a gunshot, knife stab or surgical incision can cause a hole in the wall of the intestines. Patients may present with symptoms of a peritonitis in case infected fetal material entered the abdomen. Patients experience fever, abdominal pain, nausea and often vomiting. In the case of a covered perforation without leakage of digestive material, the affected area may only present with a local inflammation. Bowel perforation can also lead to a sepsis and has to be seen as a medical emergency. In case of a sepsis, we can observe increased inflammatory markers in the blood. Upon auscultation, a colic-like peristalsis or an absence of peristaltic movements might be detected. Imaging techniques that are frequently used are sonography and x-ray. The x-ray image has to be obtained in standing position of the patient as a perforation of the bowel would lead to exiting of gas into the abdominal cavity and this gas would collect under the diaphragm and would be seen in the image. Treatment consists of surgical closure of the perforated area and in case of exit of infected material into the abdominal cavity, a thorough cleaning of the abdominal cavity followed by antibiotic treatment of this peritonitis. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, we would be very happy if you would subscribe. Thank you very much.